What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name is Lloyd. Today we're going to be talking about when she says she's always busy. So I get guys who email me, ask me questions, asking me, hey Lloyd, I know this girl really likes me, but she, whenever I ask her out, uh, whenever I try and make plans with her, she says she's busy. Okay. So what do you do in this scenario? So I'm going to be covering three things. I'm going to be covering number one, what to do or what she actually means when she says she's busy. I'm going to cover how to reduce the amount of times that she's going to say this. Uh, and then number three, I'm going to give you how to probably escape this problem altogether. Okay. Um, and uh, we'll talk about how to do that. Okay. So let's get into it. When she says she's busy, is she actually busy? Well, I don't know. I'm, I can't read minds, but uh, probably not. Okay. Probably. Usually if a girl says she's busy, um, maybe she's interested or maybe she is busy, but those little excuses that y if she was going for a guy that was like she was super into probably wouldn't come up. Okay, she has to wake up early for work tomorrow. She really liked you. Do you think she could spend one day where she gets, you know, maybe five or six hours of sleep instead of eight? Yeah, probably. Okay. Um, if she was really, really into you, could she uh, postpone that project and maybe work on it tomorrow? Yeah, she probably could. Okay. So there's a lot of times where a girl says she's busy where she's actually not. And she's, maybe she likes you a little bit, but just not enough to, to cancel those plans. Okay. We live in the 21st century. Uh, people are going to be busy a lot. Now there are times though, uh, where a guy is asking a girl out in the wrong way where he's saying things like, uh, hey, uh, he, he immediately asks them out and then they just start thinking about the, all the things that they have to do that day and then they suddenly become busy, okay? But there is a way to ask people out, to uh, progress things, the relationship in a direction that's going to be positive uh, without encountering these issues quite as much, okay? And the first thing that you have to do is stop immediately going for a meetup time or a date or saying, hey, let's just hang out. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get her schedule first. Okay, you want to reduce the amount of no's that you get when you're going for the meetup. So, what do I mean by this? The, the typical guy, when they ask a girl out, they'll usually be like, "Hey, are you free Monday?" Oh, no. Okay, cool. Are you free Tuesday night? Oh, okay, cool. What about Wednesday night? He's already gotten three no's. This girl is getting used to rejecting this guy. What he should have done instead was say, "Hey, what are you up to this week?" So ask her what she's up to this week. She says, "Well, I have to work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, but Thursday evening." Uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'm free or, or maybe she doesn't say anything on Thursday. So then ask her, then say, Hey, well, what, um, what's going on with you Thursday? And if she says, Oh, nothing, then that's when you start to make the plans. And I would open with something like, uh, okay, so you're free Thursday. Well, don't say that. You, you could say, um, so now that you know that she's free Thursday, you say, Oh, wine or beer. What do you prefer? Wine or beer? Another one that works too is you could say, uh, how do you feel about sunshine and rooftops? That's one that I've used before. Watch my stuff. Okay, basically this is a question that she can't say no to. Everybody loves sunshine and rooftops. Um, most people do. <laughs> Maybe some people don't, but like 99% of the population loves sunshine and rooftops. Okay, you ask wine or beer, that's more of a either or question. It's not something that she's going to say no to. So you basically reduce the amount of no's that you get. Now, whatever she chooses, she's already kind of put herself in a position where she's probably going to say yes to the next thing that you suggest. Okay, you know she's free on Thursday. You know she likes wine or you know she likes beer or you know she likes sunshine and rooftops or whatever, whatever yes question you gave her. Now you just have to come up with a plan. So cool. Well, there's this cool wine bar that we can go to. They have happy hour on Thursday nights and that could be a great plan. Okay. Um, the way you can word it is I would be maybe a little bit more descriptive. I would say, uh, well, there's this cool wine bar that opened up. Um, they have this special that goes on from seven to nine. Would love to hear all about your travels during that time. Okay. So, a lot of what's preventing girls from meeting up isn't necessarily that they're busy, but it's the fear that they might miss something. It's the fear of going on a date. There's a lot of like fears involved. If you have too many unknowns, people are just going to come up with excuses. So once you know that she's free, once you know that she likes the thing that you're going to do, all it just becomes is setting up the date and the time. But the way I led into it was asking her and getting her schedule first. Okay. So a lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll go in. They won't, they won't do it by that way. And so that reduces a, a lot of those, a lot of those things. Okay. So, but even if she's saying at this point that she's busy and you're going by this format and she's still not, she's still saying that she's busy at those times. Um, you got to move on, man. I, I don't care if this girl has said she likes you. I don't care if you feel like there's a really big connection with this girl. The fact of the matter is she won't meet up with you. 
And that's really how you have to look at your life. You have to stop looking at your life as, oh, is this girl, does this girl like me? Can I be appealing to this girl? No, put yourself first, dude. Put yourself first and make sure that you're bringing women into your life that makes sense for you. For me, even if a girl likes me, if she won't meet up and her schedule is too inconvenient for me, you know, she's going to have to do something to, to go out with me. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to break my back for somebody because there's, you know, because I like them. There's, there's, liking is easy, okay? Once you're a high value guy, you know, you have people in your life that, that do like you and it's finding someone who makes sense for you in your life. So even if you don't have that right now, I encourage you to have this mentality where you can spend your time going after girls that are always busy, are never making time for you, or you can go after other girls who won't be giving you this objection, okay? And I would recommend the latter far more than the former. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you made it to then consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. I just had some one-on-one -on -one coaching spots open up. So if you're a guy who wants to get personally mentored by me, shoot me, uh, actually fill out the form down below in the description. There's a link to the form. Click on the link, fill out the form. And if you're a great fit, we'll get back to you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.